Hello Kez, Vessel, Michelle and Celia. It is Monday again and I have only one thing written down for this video and it's the cinnamon challenge. So I better get that out of the way before I forget. And this was something that I recorded a couple of days ago with Maria. Hello everybody, this is the cinnamon challenge and my girlfriend wanted to join in on this one. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> <coughs> Challenge completed. Hey, Vessel, you've met John Green again. Is there no justice in this world? Just kidding, just kidding. I am really happy for you, and I hope you've got a lot of footage that you can show us on Wednesday. And Michelle, cell phones. I have a just as crappy cell phone as you. Hey, it's one of those pushy things. Yeah, lovely. It doesn't have any games or applications or internet access. It's I just use it to call people, which doesn't happen a lot. Uh, I mostly just use it to communicate with my parents and Maria and a couple of my friends when I'm not in my computer. But you know what? I'm happy with this phone. I don't need a fancy good camera and stuff. This is this is this is adequate. So, Doctor Who, The Rebel Flesh, very interesting episode. Predictable but interesting. I thought it had a very similar plot to the movie Moon, if you've seen that one. It's by the guy who also made Source Code. Uh, Duncan Jones, I think his name is. Anyways, I, I thought the episode was good. I liked the episode. Uh, and the first... Th uh, wait, spoilers. The first thought that entered my head when I saw the doppelganger Doctor was that... that this copy of the Doctor is the Doctor who dies in The Impossible Astronaut. And then the person in the uh, astronaut suit is the real Doctor killing the doppelganger. But uh, now that I think about it, I don't... That's not very likely, so I'm sticking with my old theory about two universes merging. Yeah, I'm so bad at this. Okay, so before I go back to revision, I have an incredibly original question to ask. If you could be stuck in an elevator with two YouTubers, a boy and a girl, who would it be? And why, I guess. And, and just to spice things up a bit, it can be someone who you know. Uh, so for me, it would probably be Jimmy0010 or Ben Loka, <laughs> and Electric Fairy Dust, or Community Channel. I can't even answer my own question properly. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, I am looking forward to your answers, and Kez, I will see you tomorrow, and you guys will see me again next week, next Monday. Okay, my camera's falling down! <laughs>